Hello, this is Ron again. This is fun. This is Ron again. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is compute percent of profit. This is on page uh, 295. Bottom of the page. Now, by the way, I learned this in the fifth grade at Douglas Elementary School in Douglas, Georgia. And here's the way we learned it in the fifth grade. In the fifth grade, Miss White said that the formula for percent of profit is your profit over your cost, or your profit divided by your cost. However, that was rather difficult for us fifth graders to remember, so she made it simple for us. She said, it's what you made, which is another word for profit, over what you paid, which is another word for cost. So what you made, profit, divided by what you paid, cost. Oh, I'm sorry, Elise. I misspelled that word, didn't I? Mm -hmm. All right. I can see the look in your eye there like, oh, Rod. Anyway, what you made over what you paid. So here's the deal. You go out and buy a house for $140,000. That's what you paid or what you bought it for. And then you turn around and sell it for $180,000. That's what you sold it for. All right? Help me out. What did we pay on this deal? $140,000, right? So we paid $140,000. And what did we make on this deal? Forty thousand. Everybody with me? So we made forty thousand after having paid hundred and forty thousand. What's the calculator say? Twenty-nine percent. Twenty-nine percent. Somebody concur with that? Twenty-eight point five. Twenty-eight point five. So that's twenty-eight and a half percent profit on that deal. Everybody with me? Everybody got that. Y'all need another example or you got it? Because I could give you the example that's on the state exam if you want me to. Yep. You want to do that? Yes, sir. All right. Let me give you all the example that's on the state exam, and, uh, and we'll do it together. And um, here's the, on the state exam it says, if you bought a lot for... 75% of the list price and sold it for list price. What is percent of profit? And the choices are 25%, 33%, 40% or 17%. So you bought a lot for 75% of the list price. You turned around and sold it for the list price. All right? Only trouble is, we don't know the price. But can we just make one up? Yeah. Let's make up $10,000. How's that sound? All right? So the list price is $10,000. The formula is what you made over what you paid, is that right? Yep. So list price is 10000 so what are we paying? 10, no. We're paying 7500 mm -hmm. We're paying 7500 and then we're turning around and selling it for 10000 So we are making 2500 Everybody see that? We're making 2500 Put that in the calculator and tell me what it says. 25%. 33. 33.3. 33.3. 33. 33. 33. 33. 33. What's the calculator say? 33%. 33. 33%. That's a 33% profit. Did you get it right, Mike? No, it's not right now. Okay. You bought the lot for 75% of the list price. You sold it for the list price. We just made up a price, 10,000 bucks. 
So we bought it for $7,500. We made $2,500. You put that in the calculator, that's a 33% profit. Everybody with me? Yeah. Everybody with me? What you made over what you paid. It's so simple, you don't even have to know how to spell to get it right. Just uh, what you made over what you paid. Um, all right, next thing let's do is mortgage amortization. Now, uh, I don't know why this is on the next page. I don't know why this is on the exam. Been on the exam as long as I've been teaching. <coughs> but this is basically testing your knowledge to take a amortized mortgage. And by the way, does everybody remember that the word amortize means to kill or extinguish? So what happens is we have a mortgage payment that consists of principal and interest. So we pay interest and we amortize the mortgage with the principal reduction. And every month we make a payment, we pay a little bit more on the amortization portion of the payment or the principal reduction. So if we borrowed $90,000 at 6% interest, $90,000 at 6% interest, and the payments were $575 per month, right? So our payments are $575 per month. We borrowed $90,000 at 6% interest. Our payments are $575 a month. By the way, how do we know the payments? It tells us in the test question. It'll always tell you the payment in the test question. That's the only way you can know the payment. So uh, we got a little formula for this, and the formula is multiply, divide, subtract, subtract. Because what we want to do is figure out what the balance of this mortgage is after one payment. Sometimes on the exam, they want you to go into the third payment. But uh, we got to figure out what it is after one payment. So we're going to multiply the principal times the rate to give us the annual interest. All right? Help me out. $90,000 times... 6% is how much interest per year? 5,400 5, is the annual interest. Everybody with me? Yes. All right. So we got the annual interest, $5,400. Step two, we're going to divide that by 12 to figure out what is the monthly interest. 450. Hold on a second. Um, $5,400 divided by 12. How much is it, Roman? $450. $450 per month is the monthly interest. Every single person in the room with me? Yes, sir. Mike, are you with me? We multiplied the principal times the rate, gave us the annual interest. We divided the annual interest by 12, gives us the monthly interest. Now, our payment is principal and interest. Principal and interest. By the way, let me interrupt myself. If the salt and pepper weighs 11 ounces and the salt weighs 6 ounces, how much does the pepper weigh? 5 ounces. So if the principal and interest is 575 and the interest is 450 how much is the amortization the principal reduction what's the answer 125 dollars a month is the monthly amortization sometimes called the annual sometimes called the monthly principal reduction Joe are you with me we took the payment, which is given in the question, okay. principal and interest. All right. We subtracted the interest, which we computed. So our monthly principal reduction is $125 per month. So we send in our $575 payment, and it reduces our principal by 
$125. Amy, you with me? Yeah. Everybody? Yes. Yep. And so step last, we're going to subtract $125 from $90,000. And what are we going to get? $89,875. $89,875. So what does that mean? That means after one payment, we owe $89,875. Everybody with me? Now, when we send in our next payment, our payment's still going to be $575. But we're going to owe less money, which means the principal reduction of the next payment is going to be larger, and the interest is going to be smaller. Does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. We need to do it, or you see that? It's everybody got it. Six percent of eighty-nine, eight seventy-five. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so that is a amortization problem. Wait, wait. Hold that last one. Subtract. That's subtract the um, ninety thousand. 